So we're ready, uh, the boat's on the trailer. We got it out of the water. One of the first things I'm gonna do is come back here and secure the motor. Once again, uh, this particular motor has this uh, clip right now it won't grab because I'm not up high enough. So I gotta just bump it up a little bit, put it into position, then lower the motor down. And so now the motor's secure, I'm gonna grab the straps. We'll strap down the back using these lifting eyes and finding a good spot on your trailer. And then we'll also strap the front. These are great straps. You can find them on any hardware, but they're just a basic ratchet strap. Very uh, easy to work with. First couple times, it takes a little getting used to, but um, I'll come up here, hook it into that lifting eye, and come down to the trailer. And they do have a, a place on this trailer where I can do it. I could also wrap it around if I wanted to. But I'm just gonna have a, a pretty straight line, pull up the slack, and then this ratchet comes down. And then I just start making it snug by ratcheting it up. So these are really great straps. Take any loose or excess, you don't want that just going down the road and ruining your strap. So I'll, I typically just wrap it around the trailer a couple times, take up that loose slack, tie it off, and that way it won't be blowing around as you're going down the road or the highway. So I'm gonna put this uh, front strap on here, but just as another uh, point, these, this particular trailer has bunks. You'll notice that we have a, a couple inch gap here. I like to have the boat off of those bumpers. That way it won't scrape up your front rub rail at all. And it's uh, just as safe. Just wanna make sure you have the proper length trailer and that your, all of your pontoon is securely um, laying on the bunk of the trailer. So I'll go ahead and just as a precaution, put a secondary strap on here. Uh, the, you want to make sure that you remove all your lines and once again any loose articles of clothing or anything inside of the boat. But since I'm out here, I'm going to take this rope and just coil it up. Otherwise, if you leave it there, it could uh, kind of come off the side and be bouncing down the highway and could potentially ding your boat up a little bit too. Yeah, it's always a great idea just to walk around your boat before and after and uh, make sure that it, all the items are secure. So I'll toss this up there for now, and I'll get up there and secure all the contents in the, in the boat before we leave. So those were just some basic uh, boating tips in terms of uh, trailering and launching your boat, put your boat back on the trailer, how to use some of the controls, but there's uh, nothing, nothing better to learn how to use your boat than actually getting out and using your boat. So practice makes perfect take it slow. If you need more information, we do have more information available on our website at www.avalonpontoons.com. Uh, so there's information there and then there's a plethora of information on uh, the internet as well. And then just talk to other fellow boaters and uh, you learn a lot just by doing it. So enjoy, but be safe out there.